Hello, welcome to my series of programming video tutorials. Today's lesson will be on the multi-threading with executor service. Okay, so we start by creating the project executor service tutorial. For those of you who don't know, executor service is a way of using future objects to keep track of multiple asynchronous tasks. Next up, we create the package that we want to work with. We'll call that multi-thread tutorial. Okay, so now we're going to create the classes. So we'll obviously have one producer class along with another uh, consumer class. So for the consumer thread, we will need to implement the runnable interface. This basically allows it to be able to be run as a thread. Okay, so now we add some the unimplemented methods, the run method. Also create a constructor for this class. For this example, I'll be making the consumer thread print out an integer number that is inputted during object instantiation. For each number read, it will submit a consumer thread to the executor service and save the return future object to a list. Uh, something to note is that this file currently does not exist. We will be creating it later on. If you have a file uh, that you want to read from, that's fine. Then you can skip one of the later parts. Okay, so we need to uh, take care of the exceptions. Okay, so here we create the uh, executor service. Okay, so here we uh, define the number of threads that we want. So for this example, we will be using 10 threads. The executive service will return a future object every for every one of the runnable in, uh, objects that we submit. So we will create a list to store those future objects. Okay, so the linked list will be of contain the futures. Depending on the version of Java you're using, it might or might not be compatible with the future library. So you might have to change your compliance for this to work.
Okay, so change the compliance and now it works. Okay, so now we'll use the string to record uh, each line that's being read by the reader. And while it's not null, we will proceed with the following. Okay, so the linked list we created before, we will add the future object that is returned by submitting a new consumer thread object into the executor service. Okay, so we're going to have to parse the uh, string that's read into an integer. Okay, so if the uh, size of the futures is greater than, say, 50, we're going to uh, start uh, calling, uh, calling the futures and uh, running them. So we create an iterator from the uh, current, current futures. Okay, yeah, we're going to have to put this in the try-catch block. Okay, it says the future is red. Oh wait, we haven't created it yet. Okay, uh, let me rename this thing. Now, uh, let me go and try to, uh, whoops, typo. Okay. Now let me try to create this. Okay, so here we pretty much finished the running part, but we need to terminate the executor service before we end this program. Okay, oh, shut down. So we use the execu ES executor service shutdown method. And if the uh, there are still future objects in the that is currently uh, in the queue, we will uh, wait for them to finish and then terminate it.
Okay, so now we'll create the class that contains the main method. We'll call that run process. Okay, so public static void main. Okay, so as I said earlier, we current we don't have the file.txt file, so we we are going to create it right here. For those who already have a file of a list of numbers that they want to read from, you can use that and skip this buffer writer part. Okay, so import the necessary libraries. Oh, need to take care of that exception. Whoops, typo. And import that. Okay, so we'll write the file and make it say 0 to 10,000. Okay, so now for obvious reasons, we'll want to close the writer. Okay, so now we'll create the producer and have it start running. Okay, now we save it and let's try it out. Okay, you can see that's running. Okay, so as you can see, not all of the numbers are, came out in the same order. So yeah, that's how executor service works. Thanks for watching and hope that you found this helpful.